If you travel a lot, you would appreciate to have a charger for all your devices. This is what we are looking at today. This is a Spigen charger, 120 watts with four ports. So let's start. On the box, we can see the brand, we can see the model, and we can see that this is using gallium nitride technology. These are the most compact chargers that you can find on the market. And it has four USB ports and a total of 120 watts. Here are some of the technology used in this charger and on the back you can see some more details here and you can pause here if you want to see exactly all the output types but we will have a table explaining all the possibilities. Here is the device and as you can see it's very compact. We have on the front the ports, two USB type C, two USB type A and we have a power LED. On the back we have the connector for the power cord. The device didn't have this fit, but I put it myself, I think it's very useful so that the charger doesn't slide around. Let's see how heavy this device is and we can compare it for example to the Apple charger. I have here the MacBook Pro 16 140 watt charger, the speed gen is 120, this has 326 grams and let's check the Apple charger. It seems that Apple charger has some technology that it's lighter than this one, but the speed gen has four ports, which is more useful for me. So let's test this. This here is the charger for my Blade 13 and you can see how bulky this is. If you want to use the Razer Blade at the full potential, you need to use the proprietary charger. I have a lot of USB Type-C chargers 100 watt, but the laptop always complained that I'm not using the official one. But with the Spigen charger the laptop doesn't complain, so that means I can drive to the maximum the Blade Stealth, which is for me very nice because I don't like carrying this around. Instead I can use this and I can also charge other devices as well. Here is the chart with all the different combinations depending on what devices you want to charge. What is very interesting and I like very much, if you want to charge a laptop you can have 100 watts for the laptop and you can still have 18 watts for another device, for example a phone, a tablet, a Nintendo Switch. This is very nice because most of the laptops that you charge with power delivery have the maximum 100 watts. If you have two laptops, you can charge them with 60 watts each. This is also very nice. For example, the MacBook Pro 13, it's using 60 watts. You can also charge a phone, a tablet and a laptop at the same time. And you can see here the wattage is also very nice. I like that always the Type A can go up to 18 watts. This is very nice and you have 65 watts remaining for a laptop in this case and if you want to use all the ports at the same time you still get the 18 on the type a ports 65 watts for a laptop and another 20 watts for a low power device for example as i said a nintendo switch and the last relevant scenario two type c devices they can both get 45 watts and you still have 18 watts remaining on the type A connector. I'm testing the first scenario, so one type A and one type C, and we can see here 18 watts on the type A, and I have here 97 watts on the type C. We can see here on this power meter we have 120 watts, so this confirms that this is indeed a 120 watts charger. This is again very useful because you can charge at the maximum speed a laptop and of course you can charge another device with 18 watts. Now I'm testing the second scenario 60 plus 60 and you can see here the MacBook Pro 16 is charging with 60, 63 watts and the MacBook Pro 13 it's also charging with 60 watts. Total power when I charge two laptops I see here from the wall 123 watts or almost 124 so this is quite good again you charge two laptops with one charger and 60 watts i think it's quite good the third scenario that is relevant for me i'm charging two type c devices and one type a and we can see here it's even exceeding what it was promising it was promising two times 
45 watts and one time 18 watts. I can see here 48 watts, 47 watts and 20 watts. And the total power used here is 118 watts. I think again this is a very useful scenario. And I'm happy to see that this charger delivers what it promised. Now I want to test the last scenario and look here. 131 watts. This is a bit unusual, but I think because my phone doesn't draw 18 watts, the power is somehow split in another way. Let's say like this, yeah? So we have 45, 48, 10 watts for the phone and 21 watts for the power bank, yeah? The total of 130 watts. So definitely this delivers all that it promises. Let's now check what are the temperatures when I am pushing this to the limit, to 130 watts. We have around 45 degrees Celsius and 110 Fahrenheit. This feels warm to the touch, but it doesn't burn me, so I think this is nice. The final test, let's do some gaming with the Razer Blade 13 and I'm starting the computer up. I can see here the current power consumption around 80 watts. The original charger of this laptop again is 100 watts and normally if I would use any other charger, I would get here a remark from the computer that it cannot run at the full power but with this charger from Speedgen I don't get any error here it doesn't say that I need to use another charger so I think this Speedgen charger is fully compatible so as you can see I'm playing Forza Horizon 5 and you can see from time to time it hits the maximum 100 watt or very close to 100 watt this tells me that the laptop likes this charger and will take full advantage of the 100 watts that it can provide. I think the laptop can do this because somehow the charger it tells him that he can do even more. I remember when testing this charger with some devices, the original official charger, let's say like this, this was also capable of going over 100 watts. So I think the reason why this laptop doesn't want to work with other 100 watt charger is because the laptop is expecting that your charger should be able to do a bit more even though it doesn't use more than 100 watts. If you have other explanation, please let me know, because otherwise I don't understand exactly how this laptop always complains with other 100 watt chargers, but not with the official charger and not with this Speedgen charger. Because of this, I would say that this Speedgen charger is the best alternative for the Razer Blade Stealth if you also don't like this bulky charger that it comes with. I think that was all from my side regarding these chargers. Let me know if you have any questions and let me know what else you want me to test in the future for these kind of chargers. Till next time, have a good one.